It's that time again! So this box feels quite light and this one very weighty. So I'm guessing the comics are in here, so that's where I'm starting. Definitely some weight in that box. Oh, that box has had lots of comics this week. Oh dear. Comics definitely in there. <laughs> and definitely more comics there. Right. Let's get them out so I can show them to you. Okay, so those boxes were very, very misleading. I'll show you why afterwards. Right, so from Marvel we've got Daredevil. And then a load of Darkhold back issues that I ordered specifically for a customer. We've got the new Star Wars Yoda issue. Number nine. And number six of Star Wars itself. Elvira in Monsterland issue 2 we got a second copy of that one came last week as well King Kong The Great War issue 2 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles vs Street Fighter issue 1 House of Slaughter The Untold Tales of I Hate Fairyland from Image Comics and no one the Walking Dead Deluxe. They're the colour copies. Phantom Road issue 5. Don't even know why I've ordered that. Spawn. And we've got an Ashcan edition here of Schlub. Or The Schlub. And a couple of naughty issues here. Tarot, Witch of the Black Rose. This one's one of the cosplay variants. How can they call it cosplay when they're not wearing any clothes? And it's signed as well. And then we've got the deluxe art print edition with naughty picture on the back. Fairly sure I can imagine someone's going to be pausing that to catch it at the right moment. <laughs> so yeah, the rest of those boxes were actually these. Which... Uh, more books. <laughs> uh, Dragon Prince, Blood Moon Huntress, Toy Box Time Machine. I thought it'd be pretty cool for some of the um, audience members I have. Pretty cool looking book there. Three copies of it. We've got another copy of the toys of He Man and the Masters of the Universe because it keeps selling and it's a fantastic book. And then we've got this one, which I only ordered because it was in the sale, and it was in the graphic novel sale. Does that look like a graphic novel to you? Hmm. Never mind, you win some, you lose some. 
And then we've got the Obnoxious Hero Kun Complete Collection. Now, onto the box of not comics. Okay, Marvel Legends. Ah, brilliant. From the second Spider Man video game. I should have multiple of these. Four so far. Five. Why didn't they just send them in a case? Oh. Um, six. So, yeah, they really should have just sent me a sealed case, shouldn't they? I got a couple of the Dark Knight Scarecrow figure from the multiverse that builds up Bane. That's taking its time coming, isn't it? And we've got Star Wars Black Series Beautitude. What on earth could this be? Let's have a look and find out. Whatever it is, it's something I've got six of. And it looks like it's in the new windowless packaging, which I do not like. Ah, the Clone Commando from the Bad Batch. Okay, yep. It's an army builder type figure, isn't it? Should all be the same. There we go. So there you go. That's your lot for this week. Not a huge amount, but as you know, that's what I'm aiming for at the moment because I've still got tons and tons of stuff to get through. Now, this isn't quite what I thought it was when I ordered it, but we might take a look at it at the end. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye. So like I just said, this is not quite what I was expecting it to be when I ordered it. I, I saw the title, Toy Box Time Machine, which as a toy shop it grabbed my interest. And then I saw a catalogue of the coolest toys never made. And naturally I thought it was going to be a book about unproduced toys. Toys that had been designed, maybe prototyped, mocked up but then never quite released for whatever really whatever reasons no it actually turns out it's com a complete work of fiction <laughs> hence why it's not what i expected when i ordered it so it's just a load of the toys that have been made up by whoever marty bauman is of course that doesn't mean that it's not a a good book it could well be fantastic but it's, it's just not at all what I was expecting. Yeah, so this book was published in June 2017 and this is a first printing. I like the As Seen on TV. A toy that was never made was seen on TV. Let's get through that. Oh, I remember that when you used to have coupons. <laughs> a load of imaginary logos there as well. Great big talking book of airplanes. Okay. Agent of MOD. Obviously a, a play on James Bond there. I think that's pretty cool that so it's actually advert that mock up adverts for toys that were never made as well <laughs> I 
I remember having things like these. Astro Soap, Atom Train. It's certainly a very unusual book. If that's not a play on Batman and Robin, then I don't know what is. The Blue Bee and Stinger. So I think you get the idea there, just from these first few pages, what kind of book this is. The Creepy Clutching Hand, Macabre and Menacing, Mysterious Weird. <laughs> See, it's probably quite a cool coffee table book, this. Certainly an interesting one. <laughs> we'll do a cross between King Kong and Godzilla. Gorgon. Some of the designs are really, really good. And definitely are authentically retro looking as well. Another James Bond parody there. Oh, look at those colours. <laughs> that is awesome. I won't show you anymore, otherwise there'll be no reason for you to buy it. <laughs> For anyone interested in buying it, RRP on it shows you there in dollars, of course it does. RRP is $26.99. Cosmic Toys is going to be selling this for £10. I don't think that's bad, do you? Less than half price. So be sure to let me know if you want one. 